everyone agrees testing is important, but no one ever wants to do it. Thankfully, Postman has some built-in tools and resources to help you get started. Let's click on this test tab up at the top to insert some tests. This pulls up a section where you can write some JavaScript code that will run after your request is sent. Next, let's look at this section over here called Snippets on the right. All of these snippets are customizable, pre-made templates for commonly used tests and will help you get started with your testing. Let's start with a really basic test, like making sure I get a status code of 200. To do that, I'll click this here and watch the code automatically populate on the left. Here we see PM test, which is just this JavaScript function that accepts two parameters. The first is the name of the test we're about to perform, and the second is a function to return a Boolean value. Here, the name is status code is 200, and the Boolean is checking to see if the request response had a status code of 200. With our test in place, I'll go ahead and click send on this request again. And if you look down here under this test results tab, we see one of one. So let's click that. And awesome. We see that the test called status code is 200 did indeed pass, which makes sense because it was a successful response with a status of 200. Now let's have some fun and create a test that fails. Another useful test is one that checks the entire response body for a specific string. So here I'm going to click this test, watch it again automatically populate on the left, and see it says body matches string is the test name, and here's the string we want to search for. Since I'm searching for Princeton in my initial request, let's see if anything in the body comes up with Harvard, which we don't expect it to. I'll go over here, send the request again, and see what happens. Awesome. Now we have a failed test. So we don't get the string Harvard anywhere in our response body, which makes sense. And we have a failed test. Play around with the other various pre-made snippets. And when you're ready, go ahead, start writing your own more complex tests.